Mays trying to get something going. Everywhere he looks, there's a white jersey in front of him. Good defense by Childs. Richardson not able to get it down. Boy, he can score points in a hurry. He ain't able to get off yet. The average is 21 a game and held scoreless so far here in the first half. So Nero, you got to attack right here. He can get it going off the dribble. Senior captain, Caleb Nero. Losing the balls. Caleb Childs in the backcourt. There's Richardson, his first two. And Stephon Richardson in transition that time. Able to get there and score. Thomas tried to follow Dunk. It was no good. And quickly back the other way. And we're going to have a probably offensive goaltending. That's what it is. And Smith came down pretty hard. Smith and Malachi White. I think it's 24. Watch him goes up. White goes and gets it. And then oh. boy, falls down. That's 24. Malachi White. 6'4 junior. There's a reason he was hanging on to the rim. Yeah. Glad he's okay. We love the effort. He does have to check out of the game. Not going to make him check out? Yeah, yeah they're going to make him check out. And we're talking about that young man there, Shamar Walker, he's done a tremendous job for Coach Bobby Allison. And what I mean, you talk about his leadership skill. This is a guy that's waved his turn, you know, didn't know if he was going to play. 5'7", Jr. had outstanding tournament of champions. But coach, talking to Coach Allison, he has emerged the leader of this team. Does a good job of talking. Coach Allison said it's hard to keep him off the court. You always want to give credit to those guys that work hard, wait their turn, and put the time in. Shamar Moore is one of those guys has done a tremendous, Shamar Walker, excuse me, is one of those guys that has done this for Coach Allison. Great job of working hard, continuing to compete, and he's one reason why Memorial has a chance to you know, win that state championship this year. It called well. Thought he had a lane to the bucket, but then big Isaiah Thomas was standing there waiting for him. And he lost the handle and it turns it over to the Chargers. Shot from the right side by Nero. It's good. Nero, a three, and they say he can score points in a hurry. He can score points in a hurry for this team. It was a three. Thomas with the big reject. Nero again. And that's what he can do. He's filling it right now. You see him in transition. A nice move in the pull up. The three point range. That quick, he rallies off six points. And a steal. It's good. Just saying, score points in bunches. And now. Paris may want to think about a timeout. Went from a four-point game to a 12-point game just like that. Well, that's a big shot right there. And needs that to down. Stop the flow. And it's a backcourt call. Caldwell stepped up and stopped the bleeding for a second, but man, Nero. Oh, bang, bang, a couple of three-pointers and a quick two. Yeah, and that's what he can steal. do. He can, he, can, he can score in a hurry. See him in transition, very patient scoring. Doesn't, doesn't force a lot of shots. Almost like to see him shoot it, try to shoot it a little more, but good job within the offense. Eight straight from Nero. Oh, nice slug. That's point. a yeah. great play for Edison. And that's what Edison has to have. They have to have some misdirection. Going to be hard for them to just go straight up and go one-on-one -on -one with the size inside for Memorial. In Nero, you do a heat check here. You try to get you another one. 
Trying to get that one. Good defense by Edison. Robert Caldwell has hit back-to-back -back buckets for the Eagles. To bring them back to within eight. Turnaround jumper, no good. A Caleb Rowe, a Caleb Boone. Six, seven, sophomore. Robert Caldwell, senior. Alan Barnes trying to get something going. That one off the glass, too strong. Nero again, he's feeling it. Feeling it right now. There's the push and transition. You have to respect his three-point shot. Then he can get to the basket and score. Nice pull-up in rhythm. Caleb Nero. He scored 11 straight. Caldwell's going to pick up the foul. 11 straight. You mentioned something about that hot lunch, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, he can Man. get going in a hurry. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance Halftime Show. We're going to talk to the coaches. Of course, have your highlights and stats. Maybe get Rod out there with the pom-pom squad. Yeah. Get it going. Now, if you need real, you go get you another one. You go get another one right now. <laughs> In fuego, but You're feeling that right now. I think you attack and try to get one. Defense that time by Richardson. All tipped up. Finally hauled down by May. Caleb Boone had a couple of shots at it, couldn't corral it. Asbury picks up his dribble. Turnaround shot, no good by Kalen Finley, and here come the Chargers again. Nero, why not? How about that? Good job by Kobe Rose, finding Nero, ready to shoot the ball and knocking it down. And that quick. And that's what you call good court awareness. 18 already, and there's Richardson. A good court awareness by Kobe Rose, finding his teammate who's on a roll right now. And yeah, if you perish, you got to try to go run and jump now. But a lot of times you don't see that, especially on the highest level, a hot guy getting the ball, find him in space, let him try to make plays for you. As you're rolling, you know, yeah. four for four, three point range. <laughs> In that video game where the ball's just on fire when it leaves your hand, that's what he's doing right now. How about Kobe Rose? And that's the one thing about this Memorial team. They got good guards at all positions. Good size and good length. Rose drives in. He's got seven. Kobe Rose getting in. Just over the outstretched arms of Mays. Him eight. 15 point lead, largest of the night for the Chargers. A man. Caleb Nero, the captain, the senior captain, is been on fire. One stretch, I think he scored 14 straight points. As he said, he can score in a hurry. Michael Parrish, who wanted to slow things down, and you do not want Memorial to touch the ball again here at the end of the first half. Asbury takes a long three from the corner. That's no good. Here comes Nero again. He blows by Asbury, but it's tapped out of bounds. Boone 
off the rim. Here comes Marcus May for the Eagles. Gonna slow it down again. Down 15. Hayes driving, rejected, got it back. No good as the first half comes to an end. Boy, Marcus Mays had all 10 of his in that first quarter. But the story of the first half was Caleb Nero on fire. Four for four from the three-point line. He has 18, and here's Rod with Coach Allison. Coach Allison, your team up 33-18. Got on a run there. Caleb Nero, he was right on cue. I said he can score in a hurry. Boy, he's rallied all 14 straight. In the second, uh, at, at the end of the first quarter, we said, hey, guys, he's really shooting the ball good the last couple games. Let's really make an effort to drive at him, and if they help off, let's look to get it to him. I thought we did a good job getting him the ball in space. And uh, he just did what he does. Other thing we did, we really did a good job showing help and not creating for them defensively and limiting them to one tough shot of possession. Marcus and Stefan are good players. They really can attack and they're versatile players inside out. But I thought we did a good job of just making it as hard as possible on them. All right, Coach, good luck in the second half. Very much. Back over to you. All right, thanks a lot, Rod. Coming up, our Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance Halftime Show right here on the Cox Channel. Welcome to the Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance Halftime Show. Wow. That was a some first half, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm telling you what, Marcus Mays blew it up in the first quarter for Edison. He had all 10 of the points. Second quarter, Rod Caleb Nero says, I'm going to take control of this basketball game. Yeah, and right on cue. And we talked about before coming to this game, the way he can score points in bunches, call it in the floor of the offense. Team did a good job of recognizing that, as Coach Bobby said, but boy, he can get going in a hurry and it definitely change the game. When you have a guy of his caliber, it can be a close game and it turned into a nice lead going to the half. Great job by Caleb Nero and the Memorial Chargers. Yeah, they, they closed him out pretty good in that first half. Let's take a look at some of your first half highlights. Memorial jumped out to a quick lead, just taking the opening tap and going right down and scoring, Rod. And 
Edison at one point cut it to four, and then that's when Memorial exploded. But, man, they were working them all inside and out. Yeah, so aggressive, and that was their game plan to go inside out. Here's Nero in transition after the steal. Went on both ends, and then Stefan Ricks is going to kick out. Mays, he got going from three, had all ten of their points. First ten, was able to knock down a lot of shots. There you see the nice pull-up and going to get the friendly roll. You think he planted Edison getting that roll like that. <laughs> now does a good job, Thomas. The big guys do a good job of passing back and forth. Now the pushing transition. The awareness of where Nero is because he's got on the roll making plays. Here's Mays again, knocking down the outside shot and keeping it going. Now the steal. Stephon Ritson probably got fouled on that one right there, able to get up and get Ben to get his first point. Then Nero with the kick. Going to get it back, ready to shoot the ball, knocking down the outside shot. Now the push and transition. Little shake between the legs, works on that, pulls up and knocks it down. Then gets up, the right hand and lays in. And a little heat check from D in transition, knocking down the three-point shot. Now watch Rolls, able to find him, know he's a hot man, get it to him. That quick, 18 quick points, Caleb Nero opening this game up and giving Memorial the lead, 33-18. Wow, 18, he had more than half of its team's points in the first half. You're watching the Ford Game of the Week on the Cox Channel and coxhshub.com. Welcome back to the Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance Halftime Show. The same Farm Bureau you've always trusted. Now, even better. Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance. Rod, first half stats, what do you think? I think when you look at them, field goal percentage, 8 of 14. You know, this Memorial team tries to get up more shots than their opponent. Three-point field goals, five of eight. Caleb Nero with four of those. You look at the free throws, pretty much even. The rebounding battle, of course, you figured Memorial would have the edge. and turnovers about the same. But just that, that big run by Memorial and Caleb Nero, the difference uh, when you talk about the score in this first half. Caleb Nero, as we said, leads the way with 18. Kobe Rose has eight for Memorial. On the other side for Edison, Marcus Mays has 10. Stephon Richardson and Robert Caldwell each have four. Memorial outscored them 20 to eight in that second quarter. That's why they're up 15. Halftime show continues after this.
Welcome back to the fourth game of the week here on the Cox Channel. Rod Thompson alongside Edison, Coach Mike Parrish, and Ke Coach, team got down in that second quarter. What did you tell your team at halftime as you get ready for the second half? Well, we turned the ball over too many times, got them going in transition. It's Caleb Nero really made us pay. He hit four big threes in transition. So we got to slow the game down, keep it close, and try and limit our turnovers. All right, Coach, good luck in the second half. Rod. Back over to you, Zeke. All right. Thanks a lot, Rod. Appreciate it. Second half ready to get underway. That's the Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance Halftime Show. The same Farm Bureau you've always trusted, but now even better. Rod looks good walking across the court there, heading back over to the court side. And had a crazy weekend. Thought everything was going to get iced out and snowed out. And some of the state got it. Not all of it. Down in the Tulsa area, we were pretty safe. Of course, had Martin Luther King holiday in the parade downtown yesterday, and then beautiful day today, and school back in session. And we're in the, I guess you could say, Rod, we're in about in the stretch run of high school basketball. I mean, we're here it is, the 17th of January. Two weeks from, yeah, two weeks from today, it'll be February 1st. And then we'll they work it inside. Isaiah Thomas can't get the roll. First round of the playoffs start that second week of February, right around the 17th. 